really special video. Get on in there. Uh. <laughs> uh, so welcome to our boat wisdom. We are currently here in the cabin in the salon where we have been building our lithium battery bank. And the reason it's so important for us to have lithium batteries is because we have an electric motor. Yeah, we're fully electric. So that means we really, really need the power. And what better way to show you guys all about our bank than by having you kind of watch us build it. So yep. that's what we're gonna be doing. And I first wanna talk a little bit about our current battery bank, the one that we are replacing. Yeah, so that- And by I, I mean Herbie. Yeah, so that was lead acid batteries, which are the worst for electric propulsion, but also the cheapest, which is why we had them. So at the time when we switched to electric seven years ago now? Yes. Time flies. <laughs> okay, so when we did the switch, lithium was gonna cost $20,000. And the lead acid at the time cost 1800 which is why we did the lead acid batteries. And now we can afford these because we're building them ourselves for the grand total of $4,900. So we had a bank of how many lead acid oh, batteries? Oh, yeah. We had eight lead acid batteries hooked up in series and in parallel. And we had 48 volts and 200 amp hours, which is diddly squat when it comes to electric propulsion. <laughs> yeah. So the bank we're building is 480 amp hours so a lot more it's going to be a really big improvement the other huge thing so why does lead acid suck if a 100 amp hour lead acid battery and a 100 amp hour lithium battery like they're both 100 amp hour the chemistry in a lead acid battery only lets you safely discharge 40 percent of that power so that means of those 100 amps you can really use 40. you can kind of kill your battery and use 60 of those amps if you want but that's it with lithium you can use 80 percent so that means for every 100 amps that you have, you can actually use 80 of them compared to 40. So it's double the battery and half the weight. It's just, they're awesome. There's they're really so good. many reasons to actually switch to lithium. The only thing stopping us all this time was money. And yeah. we finally found a way to build our own bank, which saved us $14,000. Yes. Lots of money. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to be talking about exactly the process of building the bank, and then we're going to show you us actually building it. This is yeah. a battery that is in progress right now. Yes, we started this morning, so we're a little sweaty because it's Florida. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> one million degrees outside and inside because we have no air conditioning. Ah, we're anchored out currently. Yes. So, um... Which, if you've seen that Star Morning video, we're anchored with the Star Morning. We are. And if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. <laughs> uh, the batteries we're building are, um, they begin with this. Yeah, that is one cell. This is one cell of a lithium battery. What we did is we bought individual cells, a lot of them, 1,300 of them. And we are putting them together in series. And in parallel. And in parallel, starting with this. And this is the beginning of one of our batteries right here. This is the connector, okay? So what we did is we put all these batteries into the connectors and then put another one on top. So they're sandwiched between these connectors. And by batteries, I mean cells. Yeah. Hi guys. Oh, and by the way, we are trying out microphones, so let me know if you can hear us, and if not, we're just <laughs> Hopefully quiet. the sound is yeah. significantly better than our past live videos. Yeah. And do ask questions. We're going to be stopping every now and then to actually go through your questions. Good, um, it's working. We, awesome, thank you, Colin. And um, yeah, just don't be afraid to ask as many questions as you can. If we don't get to your questions, ask them again. <laughs> yep. um, we're gonna be kind of, we're a little bit far away from the screen right now, so we can't answer your questions at this moment, but we're going to stop, take breaks, answer your questions and keep going. All right. Um, hi, Anthony. <laughs> and so with that, um, I talked about how we put the cells, we pack the cells into these connectors. Now, one thing, that's rectangle. These are square, because that's going in a different battery hole. Yes. That's that shape. Yes. Try yeah. to be in oh, I'm the sorry. shot. Can you scoot back a little? Yes. No, come here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay. <laughs> um, so once they're all in the connectors, that starts the fun part. What we did is, what we're doing is we have these strands of nickel. 
and it's nickel strips. Nickel, nickel strips. Yeah. And they look a little bit like this, but long. And we're using this to actually form all of the uh, connections, connections um, yeah. of the cells. And for a math standpoint, that nickel strip, it's 0.15 millimeters by 8 millimeters, and it can flow eight, uh, 5 amps. So the ampacity of it when you're calculating everything is each connection is 5 amps. That's right. And I'll, I'll get into all the calculations later. <laughs> yeah. uh, so those, that's all we're using to connect it. And the way we're connecting um, those nickel strips to... Oh, shoot. Jerry's chewing on a wire. One second. Oh, geez. Just bring her here. Yep. Jerry. <laughs> Uh, the way we're connecting all of those nickel strips to Here you go. the cells and each other. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Charlie. Do you want to come join as well? Is with this. Okay. And this is a spot welder. Um, all it does is basically form a, an electrical connection. I'm coming back in. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. When you connect it to the nickel with both points, it forms an electrical circuit and... It's, it's a yes. mini arc welder. Yeah. Yeah. And then it heats up and you get little tiny spot welds. And it's been really awesome. So we actually bought these on Amazon. We did not make these ourselves. Yeah. They were well, $60? Yes. Let me... I will put all the links... Actually, I think the links are in the description. Yeah. So um, I put the links for all the stuff that we bought from Amazon on there. The cells themselves, th there was a question about the cells. May mm -hmm. I answer that? Please do. Okay, so the common cell that you see everywhere is called an 18650, which is a little bigger than a AA battery. And it holds about one and a half to 2.6 amps. So they're pretty small. This is a six amp cell and it's a 32650. So it's 650 millimeters tall, 32 millimeters in diameter versus 18. That's why these are really big, but they're still pretty small. Yes. Yeah, and why don't you talk a little bit more about the background of our ah, decision to okay. go with these. Yeah, so, so the reason we're going with cylindrical cells instead of prismatic cells, in case you're wondering, is uh, cost, availability, and space. So prismatic cells are awesome because they, I mean, to make this bank that we made here, we would have literally bolted together 16 plates. Done. So much quicker. But, but alas. Yeah, but the prismatic plates, you have to order them from China, and the delay on shipping is one to six months, and being how we don't really have an address, we don't know where we're going to be in one to six months, so that issue. The other issue is, it was about $2,000 more for prismatic plates, and then the third issue is prismatic plates are a set size. So if you want to fit them in a slightly different shaped box, you're not gonna. So with the cylinders, you can make them square, you can make them rectangular, you can do whatever you want, as long as you're hooking up these little guys in the series are very well. So that's why the cylindrical. The second reason is prismatic plates, while they're easier to build, actually, uh, or it's just so much simpler. I mean, let, let's face it, 16 bolts and you're done. <laughs> if only. <laughs> yeah, so the big issue, so there's this thing called the C rating, which is the discharge rating of a cell. So for example, this is one six amp cell. And where are you storing them? Oh, we are storing these guys in our old battery boxes. But yes, so... In the bilge. In the bilge, yeah. So this is a 6 amp cell. So if it's running at 1C, like 1 discharge rating, uh, I believe it's coefficient, it would be 6 amps per hour coming out of this. You go up at the 12 amps, that's now 2Cs. And then 3Cs would be 18 amps and on and on. Prismatic can do 1 to 2Cs, but you're kind of killing them when you do that. So you can't really. So if you have a 100 amp plate, prismatic cell, you can only run 100 amps out of the thing. This guy, you can run safely up to 3C. So we can suck 18 amps out of this guy and it gives, you know, we're not gonna because we don't have to. But that's why these guys. So then for cooling, you don't have to worry about it because these are in a steel case so they don't do that whole popping open business that prismatic plates do. So the prismatic ones, you have to actually clamp them under pressure when in their battery box. If they don't have pressure, the cell kind of pops and then later explodes and then burns and everything <laughs> goes bad. So it's like a bunch of issues where I viewed these as cheaper, safer, and also these were available local. We bought them in Pennsylvania. So we didn't have to do the whole shipping business. Yeah, it was so, yeah, so much easier. So that's why 
the cylindrical cells. Yes. Yes. Herbie spent uh, pretty much the past year. Yep. Since we were in Austria. Yeah, locked down with COVID. Doing, um, doing intense research on batteries and what we should do, whether we should build them ourselves. Oh, yeah, that's the other big thing mm -hmm. with the research. So everyone's talking about putting Tesla batteries, and now that Nissan Leafs are out a lot and people are crashing them, and there's all these Leaf batteries around, using those. Those use a uh, battery chemistry called NMC, which needs to be cooled because they get really hot and burst into flames. These are lithium iron phosphate, which don't do that. So they stay cooler. You don't have to worry about them blowing up. All right. What are your waterproofing boxing? Ah, yes. Okay. The, the question was, what are we doing for waterproofing and boxing and keeping them safe? Excellent question. Yes. So in the bilge, we have a battery box that is fully fiberglass and sealed. And then we are also wrapping everything in captain tape to like just seal it again. And that battery box throughout like seven years, it's super clean in there. There isn't even dog hair in there. It's I mean, that knock amazing. on wood, yeah. it has remained dry through two ocean crossings, many storms, and a, a lot of other crazy stuff. So, yeah. and then the other place we're putting them is like literally right under here where our old house batteries were, which is the rectangular ones. And for them, we're just gonna wrap them really, really well in captain tape and then put some wood to kind of lift them off. The area doesn't get wet, but when we come out of the shower, you drip a little, you know, so. Yeah, so this that. is captain tape. It's K-A-P-T-O-N. Oh. Yep, it's tape. fancy gold tape. Um, yeah, and it just- it costs like gold. You can't conduct through it. Yeah. Um, which I think is pretty, common with tape as it is but, <laughs> but this that's, one's super it's super <laughs> and it's pretty yellow so it makes everything look really cool and futuristic yeah um so the first thing we're going to do here is actually flip this battery yeah um unless you can think of anything else oh, do they... question about airflow and cooling yeah so okay so actually battleborne batteries everyone loves them they're amazing inside a battleborne battery is actually a bunch of these guys. Not not this brand, but cylindrical cells. Yeah. So cylindrical lithium iron phosphate cells don't actually need ventilation. If you're running them less than one C, no need for cooling. If you go between one to three C, some airflow is nice, but you don't really need it. So it's like, they're pretty awesome. Um, I, I, I'm like in love with these things. So, <laughs> so yeah, we are actually sealing them up completely, like taping them, there's no airflow. And we're crossing our fingers. We don't need to like poke holes for air and put fans in later. We don't know yet. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> and for you who commented on our eyeglasses, they're not oh. exactly the same, but they are very similar. They're from Warby Parker. <laughs> yeah. We're those married couples that like we just start buy dressing two of everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. <laughs> two birds. Oh, hey, Charlie. Here's Charlie. This is Jerry. If you're new with us, um, these are our children. Yes. So, uh, let's see. I want to check and make sure there are no other questions that we missed before we actually turn this bad boy over. Oh, uh, uh, we're going to redo the whole electrical system. Uh, I've been doing it over the past few years. It's been, been re being redone yeah. pretty so, constantly. Yeah. So, the, the latest thing that, like, I'd say the biggest change that we did was realizing, well, in the Ocean Crossing, we had all the house battery dying business, and which annoying and horrible so it turns out that me trying to babysit two battery banks does not work so all the solar panels now feed into the motor bank which is 48 volts and we notice that the entire boat runs on less than 10 amps with the fridge on like we just don't draw much power uh, so therefore we're running everything off of a step down converter from victron so the whole boat is it's a 48 volt battery and then a 12 a 48 to 12 volt step down converter then powers everything from there. And we just got asked about the cost advantage. I think we glazed oh over God. it really quickly. Yes. Um, okay. If we went with Battleborn or Renogy G or any of the other big brands, this would have cost a smidge under $20,000. We paid 2,000. Uh, well, for the cells, we paid 3,100. Yeah. For everything, you know, the spot welders. Oh the yeah, 5,000? Uh, 4,900. Okay, so yeah. 5,000. <laughs> yeah, five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we paid five thousand instead of 20. twenty. 
So that's the cost advantage. Yeah. Uh, time. Oh. So far, we've gotten down to um, we've one built battery per day. we've built two batteries so far. This is our third. We can build one battery per day. Yeah. So our first battery took two days. And Second battery took a day. I don't know that we said this, but we're building five batteries in all. Yeah. So we are about to be more than halfway done. Yes. Right now we are exactly oh. halfway done since we are halfway done our third battery. Another big cost, like, yeah, you built your battery, but you have nothing to control it and, you know, mm -hmm. do all that. The BMS is like a hundred and some per. So each battery gets its BMS. So five batteries, five BMSs. Make some... What plus. is the weight? So ah. one of these is about 80 pounds plus. So the cells individually would be 80 pounds. Um, but then you add on the yeah. housing and the little bits of metal. So, so. Yeah. One cell is five ounces. Yeah. So it's not light, but it is way lighter than our previous yeah. batteries. Oh, so I was telling people before that our old batteries, which were Group 31, were 76 pounds. Mm -hmm. This is mainly for you, Greg Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> they are 67 pounds, or were, because now they're no longer in the boat. And the voltage uh, ah. slash amp hours per battery, uh, yeah. 48, 48 volts, 96 three. amp hours. Yeah, but the BMS we're using limits the battery bank to 60 amps for discharge. So therefore, it's like safety and safety and safety and safety. So the cells can put out 18 amps. So this battery bank could put out almost 300 amps. And then all the strips between them limit it to uh, 116 times five for you guys that are quick at math. <laughs> that many amps by the interconnects. And then the last part is the BMS then steps it all down to 60 amps. 113? It's a lot. No. No, 130? Divisible by five because 16 times five. 130 maybe? Okay, whatever. Yeah. I'm not a math whiz. <laughs> um, I am failing at this one. <laughs> it's okay. All right, sorry. Oh, wait, calculator. Man, I, I know it's 50 plus 30. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just, just use the calculator. It's okay. There are only 121 people watching you use a calculator for basic math. It's fine. <laughs> 16 <laughs> times 5. 80. If you answered, ignore me, how many BMS modules do you need? Oh, one five. Per yeah, one per battery, so five. Mm -hmm. And uh, Herbie's been soldering the, yeah, I actually need to keep soldering BM, the BMS bit. modules. Um, so he's going to continue doing that in a bit. But for now, let's turn this bad boy over. Yes, yes, yes. Jerry. Charles, come here. You want to just hang out there, Charlie? She's cool. She's good. OK. Love you, Charlie. OK. So again, this thing weighs 80 pounds. Um, we are halfway done, so... Yeah, this side's complete. This side is totally complete uh, with the captain tape and everything. You want to lift over there, or you want me to lift over here? I'll dump it... I'll lift here. Yep, yep, yep. Let me Push it my in. way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, I see an issue. Yeah. Ready? Ah! <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's only 80 pounds. Okay, so this one is the most negative. This is this the most is the positive. positive. Yeah. So. The most negative is the one with the long overhang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Here so this is negatives. an incomplete uh, battery right here. Yeah. And on this side, we have the most negative side. And on this side, we have the most positive side. You want to sit down? And yeah, you don't like this view? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just want to show you up close here. Yeah. What we're talking about. So so by most negative, what she means is inside like a 12 volt battery, you have the positive and the negative terminal. And then it's pretty wide. Inside are six cells all the way across for a 12 volt battery. So in lithium, that would be four of these to be 12 volt. But what it is, you have your negative and your positive terminal. And then all these connect in between in series inside the battery. You don't see it because it's in a pretty plastic box. With this one, you see it all. So 
This is the negative terminal, and then it runs through all of this to come out on the positive terminal at 48 volts. Or actually, in our case, 52.2 when we're done, because they're new batteries. <laughs> okay. They can't see anything. They can't see anything, but they can see me, and that's what matters. Okay. All right. Here we go. You good there? Yeah. All right. Here are your negatives, and this is the most negative. Okay. So what you're about to watch is I'm going to connect the most negative uh, row right or column yeah. right now. So she's connecting these currently in parallel. And again, I'm using this um, spot welder. Spot welder that we got on Amazon. This is your most negative. So for the BMS, there's, for a 16 cell, like a 16 series system, there's 17 connections you need to do. So pretty much it's every positive terminal and the most negative. Could I please have a piece of cardboard? Yes, yes, I will find. Or do you want that cutting board? No. Okay. Oh, nice piece of cardboard right here. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so I'm resting this on here just so that I don't cause any kind of weird Shorting. shortage, shorting, and I'm Shall going... Shall I bring it closer? Yeah, to maybe a close-up of what I'm doing here. You can See switch the I camera can around. Spin it around yeah. here. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Now you're going to see Maddie's spot welding. I must say, she's very nice at the spot welding. So. It's very quick and very easy. We just go down the line. And in the very beginning, the spot welder is not quite warmed up yet. So I'm probably going to have to come back and do these again. That's really something good. We can just set this here. Yeah. And maybe while I'm doing this and they're watching, you can look and see if there are any other questions. Ah, yes, yes. Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, there are a few questions. All right. Uh, how many, B oh, uh, Gary Pye asking how many BMSs. We have answered that, but it's five. It's one per pack. Uh, let's see, there were many other questions. Okay, volts and amps per battery. Each cell is 3.2 volts nominal and six amps. And then the entire pack is, it's a 16S, 16P, which means 16 in series all the way across, like this whole way, and then 16 in parallel. Uh, so it comes out to be 48 volts nominal and then uh, 96 amp hours. And then how many cycles per cell? Uh, the cells are from a Chinese company and they don't really say everything about them, but from the tests they showed, if I discharge them 80%, it's more than 3,000 cycles. Uh, but if I discharge them, I think it was 60%, it's like five or 7,000 cycles. So it's a lot more than the lead acids give us, but I don't really know. My plan is to keep them really well charged with the solar panels. So outside we have 1,000 watts of solar. Yes. And that is what's going to be feeding this battery bank. Ah, all right, another question. Uh, what is the total amp hour for the whole system? It's gonna be 480 amps. So just shy of 500 amps. And if you're wondering, these are extremely hot right now, and my hands are indeed burning. Almost done this first row, or column. Yeah, so right now she's connecting all the negatives in parallel. And then she'll then hook up this negative strip to this positive strip in series going across. And then 
no, on the bottom. This is the most negative. Oh, sorry. So it comes off. My bad. Yep, that was the other side. Good thing yep. I'm doing it and not yeah. Herbie. These two get connected in series. These come off like this. Yeah. Yes, they do. Could you put longer ones, though? Yes. Thanks. All right, it's easier at the end. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go do some soldering. Yes? Okay. Uh, what happens if one spot weld fails? Well, you just... You do another. Do another one. Yeah, I mean, you do so many on these things that if one's not good, another one is. And another huge thing to remember, so this sucker, it's 256 cells, right? And each one is flowing very, very little. So there isn't really, like, like the battery gives a lot of power, but each cell and each little connection between the cells actually doesn't do very much. So if one's a little weak, there's like so many other ones that are better that the, it's gonna go the path of least resistance and go through those. So it's like- We also do a lot of extra solders just in case. Yeah. So I like, mean, I'm doing, I'm definitely over soldering these. Yeah. Um, but you really don't wanna be sorry in this case, so it's better to be safe. Yeah. it's. It's like, uh, do your best and do your best a lot. Yeah. And you'll be good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, how thick are those strips? They are eight millimeters wide and 0 0.15 millimeters thick. And their opacity is five amps. So for math wise, the BMS limits to 60 amps. The strips are up to 80 amps. And then we're hooking up. So these were actually gonna hook up these guys right here, how they hang off the side. Right, let's show you guys from here. Yes, so these strips hang off the side. We're gonna hook them up to a wire, which is gonna be a bus bar, and that's gonna lead out. And it's 12 gauge wire, so the wires flow, I think 120 amps collectively. Ah, yeah, someone asked about using insulated gloves, and yeah, it That nice. would be nice. The only issue is like, <laughs> then the dexterity goes away. Yeah, so with these you kind of have to be really precise and I just find that it's easier to burn my hands than to and have the uh, control than it is to do otherwise. But we have an, a solution when yes. it gets way too hot we actually have a second device. Yeah. So this one sits here charging and cooling while I use this one until it's too hot for me to handle. And then I go plug it in and I use the second one. Uh, have you done any testing on the completed banks and packs? Sort of. We ran, <laughs> so we had, sort of. yeah, we had our very first one when we finished it. I hooked it up to the boat and I ran the entire boat off of it. And it did. So we so. are not running a whole lot off of these guys. Yeah, I was drawing an amp when I did the test. Um, these are mostly for our motor, but the only electronics we run inside are our AIS, our lights, and our refrigerator, yeah. and, and our radio. Yep. So we aren't doing heavy, heavy draws like um, Except microwaves or induction ovens or anything like that. But the Induction motor. stove tops. But the motor is a huge one, yeah. Yeah, so the motor uh, the motor can draw 400 amps. I have it limited to 300, and then the battery packs are making, if you did the math, five 60 amp hour BMSs gives us 300 amps. So, uh, yes, so these are some soldered bus bars that I made. So I just soldered, I stripped the wire and then soldered on to the strip. And then that just literally gets spot welded to these tabs that stick off. And then they run forward, and then we have uh, some power. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. It's magic. <laughs> All right. So if you want to take them out to watch you solder. Sure. Come see the solder. There's not much yeah. I can say in here. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. Now, I will let you know. Oh, what is the cell number? Oh, yes, these are 32650s is the cell number. And Mads, just so you know, your microphone is on. Uh, yes, thank you. Even if I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my soldering station. 
outside away from the birds. We are in Florida, so it's been raining yeah. oh, every yes. day. Florida. Yeah, so with the voltage, yes, the the sucker is actually at rest. Like when I have them fully assembled, is putting out 52.2 volts. Uh, at full charge, it'll be 57.6 volts. And full, uh, I was doing a deck tour and I uh, walked too far away from my phone. Okay, we're back. Hi, sorry about that. Okay. Amp limit is based on the capacity of the strips. Yes. So does that assume the strips are in full contact? Okay. Yep. So the whole issue is my phone is right there. And that is our uh, hotspot for this video chat. And I walked up to the bow to show you guys the view from up there. And it disconnected. So sorry about that, guys. Okay. So yes, the ampacity of the strips is 5 amps. And that's assuming that it's in good contact. Now the spot welds, oh, I can flip this. Yes, okay. So the spot welds actually just hold it down, but as long as it's making like full contact to the cell's end, you have connection and you're good to go. Uh, I've actually seen where people, instead of spot welding, actually just put magnets and stick it on with a magnet, which that's a thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we're doing spot welds. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what magnets That's a would thing. cost for that. But yeah, so like you, you can be creative with this stuff. Uh, the other huge thing, all of this is a known science. Like it, we're not inventing the way to make this. It's all written. People have all tested this and figured it out. And we're just assembling parts that we bought. So that really takes a lot of fear good. out of it. It's not poopy like, Jerry. oh, by the way, you're a. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Jerry was poop. potty Jerry did a good poopy. And, yeah. <laughs> Yep, nice big one on the <laughs> Now board. everybody knows. Yep. Okay. So yeah, so it's you're you're just putting parts together that already exist that someone figured out work. So it's it's kinda like your car won't start, so you go to like advanced auto and buy a new starter and replace the starter. You didn't build the starter, you didn't design it, you didn't make all that. All you did was bolt it in. Alright, uh do we have anything pushing the strips together while we're squirting them on or mm. spot welding? No. Nope. Uh, the pressure from the spot welder. Uh, how did we decide the total capacity? Uh, cost was a big one. There was a limit where I wanted to build the battery bank for less than 5,000. Uh, so <laughs> I priced around a lot. Prismatic was going to cost 7,200. And I was like, ah. So I was going to build a smaller prismatic system and then. Uh, I came across these cells that were uh, 3,100, and then all the parts and everything came out to be at 4,900, so say 5,000. So right on budget. So it was that, and then the other part was space. The battery box for the old motor batteries could only actually hold three of these batteries, and then we kind of invented some space to stick two more batteries. So yeah. Uh, and then I actually bought the five amp hour batteries, but then the company, I, I don't fully know, uh, sent me six amp hour batteries and on the receipt said six amp hour and a discount to give me the price of the five amp hour. So originally I was going to build 80 amp hour banks, but then we ended up doing 96. All right. Uh, this question, these are doing their own Tesla boat by themselves. They're watching them operate their own gigafactory. Interesting. Okay. Get so, soldering, B. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yes, <laughs> we'll get working. So yeah, as for the capacity, it was, uh, a lot of it was cost. That was the big one. And then the other part was, I want to be able to motor with speed for distance. So and the entire reason this we're should give us this. enough power to motor for. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, I'm trying to flip this around here. The entire there reason we we're doing this is so that we can motor up the ICW in an actual amount of time. Yes. <laughs> um, so we have been in the ocean for three years now, and 
we are ready to experience the ICW once again. Last time we were in the ICW, it took us a full year. Um, and we were still, we were, that was with going outside and everything. It was just the currents, we couldn't fight and everything was crazy. And we knew that we didn't want to attempt that again with AGMs. And so it was really important to us to kind of accept this challenge of motoring up the ICW with full electric. But we need lithiums to do that. Okay guys, so I got the camera flipped so I can't actually see if you're commenting, but we will be answering it as soon as we are done. So I'm just gonna solder these guys together. So this is, this is a BMS. I hope this isn't frame, let me make sure. Hmm. It's focusing way far away. One moment. Okay. That hopefully is a little better for focus. Okay, so this guy here is the BMS. So you have battery negative, so these go to the terminals of the battery, so the most negative, and then this goes to the negative load. Like this is technically your negative terminal on your battery, if you wanna think of it that way. And then these are a crap ton of wires that connect to everything. So this black one on the far right is your most negative, and then it's sequential all the way to the most positive. So it's negative, and then every single one that follows hooks up to a positive terminal. So to connect them, we are soldering them to little tiny metal strips, that way we can then spot weld them. Because why not? <laughs> Tons of work. So. It's really important to not solder inside your cabin because of the fumes. Uh, they're really not good for our birds, but they're also not good for humans. So be in a very air, airy space, open air space when you're soldering, unless you have a fancy mask, which we do not have. All right, that one's good. That's it. I literally do this 17 times. And these are just little scrap pieces from the, uh, all the interconnects. And an interconnect is the little strips of metal that go from one cell to another, interconnecting the battery. And a weld looks like that, or a solder. So nice and clean. See, so yeah, it's pretty much a lot of easy, repetitive steps. Very repetitive. The great thing about building your own bank is how much you learn about your own system. So I was completely ignorant when it came to electronics of the boat and our batteries and everything. I still am ignorant about the AGMs. Um, but 
being a part of this building process, I have learned so much. And it's like learning a different language, but once you know it, it all makes a lot of sense. And it's been really kind of cool and empowering for me to be able to talk about it knowledgeably because I've never been able to do that before. And it was really important to me that I could do that. Still can't speak as knowledgeably about it as Herbie can, <laughs> but at least I have a basic understanding of what's going on with these batteries and what's making them work the way they do. So my, my battery knowledge came from college physics because <laughs> physics too was all the electrical and they covered series and parallel and just all the different connections. So. I didn't take college learning. physics. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy painting. <laughs> Art major. <laughs> Also, I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can say most of my classmates in physics did not care either. <laughs> they were like, this is a requirement to graduate. Meanwhile, I was in awe at the awesomeness of physics. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done here, babe. Excellent. I could use your help in here. I will be there shortly. Do you want the iPad in there? No, I'm good. Okay. What you're doing is a lot more interesting to watch than what I'm doing, probably. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, let me make sure this angle's good. It's okay. There, that's a little better for you guys. Hi, Charlie. Whoo, solder's hot. It'll be amazing if I still have fingerprints after this. Not solder, welder. While we're kind of in a work stage right now, I wanna remind you guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, um, go ahead and hit that like button because that really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks in advance for that little click that you make right about now. <laughs> okay guys, three to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh 
almost this, done. This we is can your, do it. If this is your first time with us, um, I'll say that we are currently on our home, our floating home. It is a Morgan 45 from 1968. Cutter rig with all Dyneema rigging and electric propulsion. And we are originally, our, our home port is Baltimore, Maryland. But we're currently in Palm Beach, Florida. Having recently crossed the Atlantic back to the US. Our regular videos come out every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And right now they are about six months behind. <laughs> um, and they have us doing that Atlantic crossing day to day in a vlog format. And the reason our videos are so far behind is because lack of internet and uh, the time, just simply the time it takes to edit all the videos. It's really time consuming, but it's totally worth it for the quality that we're looking for. Okay, BMS and all our little solder joints all hooked up. I'm going to go back in and turn off the soldering iron. Do not want to leave that on by accident. That would be very bad. <laughs> um, oh, other cool thing. We are running all these electronics to do these batteries off of our solar panels. So we don't have to fire up the generator or have shore power or anything. So it's silent. <laughs> Unlike our last live video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. That generator was... Ugh, I hate the generator sound. Okay, so BMS is done. I've made some progress. Maddie's made some progress. Mm. Speaking of making things, I'm thinking of making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's see comments while I was out there. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, well, first, Maddie's. Okay. Okay, so th these on the side, this is the most negative side. They're hanging off the side because we're going to be um, spot welding on what Herbie was soldering uh, earlier today, not, not the BMS. And those, what did you call them? Uh, bus, bars. bus bars. are going to go across these just like this. And they're going to attach four by four. And then on this side here, we have our first... Uh, column of series yeah oh where's the voltmeter right here let me show you guys the awesomenesses of battery okay <laughs> this tune is... in to see the awesomenesses of battery <laughs> yeah okay so there's the camera you hold this here mm -hmm. without covering yes <laughs> okay so over here is the camera looking Weep. okay way over here okay so here to here we're six and a half volts but if we go here, to here okay so 3.2 volts on just good poopy charity <laughs> okay that was good she climbed off of there went to where she's supposed to mm -hmm. and then took a giant crap <laughs> yay okay so 3.2 volts in just one cell and then we go cell one to the next. You're going through this 3.2 volt and back up through this 3.2 volt. And you get 6.5 because it's actually 3.25-ish. And then you go over to the next one and it's still 6.5 because you haven't gone through the next battery. And then we go through the next one and we're at 13 volts, 12.9. So that's that. <laughs> this is how they go connecting. So <laughs> it goes down and then back up into this one across down back up across over and through and through and that is the series connections and there was a question that got posed on a comment 
a while back when we posted this thing, asking if we group them by resist uh, internal resistance and all that. These are new cells. They all had the same internal resistance and the same voltage when we got them, so I didn't have to do any balancing or any mess beforehand. If these were like cheap used cells, yes, there would be a lot of other work involved. Yes. I got it. Okay. All right, I'm going to... Well, yes, Maddie's putting the captain tape on. Captain, my captain. Tape. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. So the important thing is, with things like this, this metal oh. scissors, don't lay them down on the battery because anything metal is a conductor. Yeah. So we've taken off all of our rings. We are no longer married. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's just best to be as safe as possible, and you really don't want to... You could say we're electronically separated. <laughs> sure. Okay. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. I'm going to now look at comments that were in here. Can you lift up just one sec? Yep. Sorry. Oop, the long part goes near me. Okay. So I was out there spot welding or soldering for a while. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, you can oh. put it down now. Actually, Thank you, Senator help. Perry. Oh, you want me to hold that? Got you can it. just put that so okay. they're, they're looking at something actually um, happening. Yes. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How many people are on right now? 138. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, full power, the motor can suck 400 amps. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, on average, our draw... So this is Anthony Strawbridge's question. Uh, what is your full power draw? And it's 400 amps. Uh, and then average power draw, 40 to 100? Yes. So when we're motoring in the ICW, we do between 40 to 60. When we're trying to get through a bridge, we'll kick it up to 300 because the bridge tender's yelling at us because he's like, go faster. But otherwise... <laughs> that actually is not an exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> they yell at us. <laughs> yeah. And then does orientation matter? Very much. Yes. So if you put them the wrong way, you will create either a short circuit or no circuit. Both are bad. <laughs> One is much worse than yeah. the other. The other is just I'd rather have no circuit than a short yeah. circuit. <laughs> ah, and then Patrick. Oh, yes. Patrick gave me some soldering tips because I hadn't done soldering before. So that was a new thing to learn. And then what do you expect our range and speed to be? Okay. Uh, range, we had a range with our old battery of 40 <laughs> miles at one knot no at two knots for 20 hours but who wants to sit at the helm for 20 hours so we really had a going range, two knots going two knots yeah <laughs> so we really had a range of like eight knot eight miles because i was done after four hours but <laughs> so that that was a thing going on there and then uh with this i'm hoping that we can do uh, three to four knots and for range I'm hoping about I mean I'd like at least 10 miles is what I would like yeah that sounds so pathetic we would love to do 12 miles at four knots yeah man I'm sorry but 10 miles range sounds so pitiful <laughs> welcome to electric <laughs> you have to sail more <laughs> okay yeah, uh, but I'm actually, so, okay, actual math. Uh, the boat at 100 amps is supposed to go four knots. And then with this battery bank, we should be able to do that for four hours. So that would be 16 miles range. So that is, that is our very mathematically guesstimated thing. Okay, let's see. Uh... Okay, what metal are these strips? These are nickel. 90, yeah, ninety-nine point six percent nickel. Bam. Link is down below to the one that we bought, but this is it, and it's uh, two point two pounds to so a kilo of nickel. I think it was like sixty or seventy bucks, but yeah, I guess we could have melted some currency. <laughs> okay, and then uh, da -da 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 -da, let's see. If we skipped over your question for any reason, just go ahead and ask it again, because yes. sometimes it's hard to go back and see what we've missed. Let's see. 
Oh, ATX Sailor. Hello. Hi, ATX. So he has a gorgeous wooden boat, and I love wooden boats. I particularly love other people's wooden boats because I don't have to do the maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, are you going to cool your packs? No, because we don't think we have to. But we will find out after we test them. So before we go anywhere, we're just going to put the boat in reverse for like a few hours and just do a capacity test on the batteries. That'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, they should be able to cruise at seven knots all day. Yeah. So actually, our <laughs> old diesel would overheat That's if we went cute. more than four <laughs> knots. So actually, I've never done speed for long in this boat. Unless we were actually sailing. Yeah. But I mean, like under power. Yeah. I, like with the diesel, if I if I did three and a half knots, it would hold. The thing so, is, if you go too fast, you miss everything. Yeah. So it would be nice to go seven knots all day, but that's not yet. Also, oh, seven knots in the ICW in a sailboat would be scary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what are the metal strips? What is the metal you're using for the strips? This is pure nickel. And then our birds would like to wear masks. Or wouldn't, yes, that is correct. They would not like to wear breathing respiration stuff. So, <laughs> as you can see, Jerry's just chilling. Lack of air in. Okay. More questions. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, thank you, Senator Perry. Senator Perry's been watching us for a long time. It's like nice to hear from him. Yeah. Okay. Nickel strips, five ampacity. Yes. Uh, let's see. Back to the batteries, please. Yep. Sorry. So. Road to Thailand, I was uh, doing the BMS, and I couldn't see the comments. But, yes, back to the batteries. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, so Senator Perry was asking if I was working on the balance leads, and I was for a very long time. There's 17 of them. Uh, are we afraid of sea air corrosion? Very much. Mm-hmm. Very much. But, I mean, that's a boat. It's, I, I know that these batteries are eventually going to die from rust. So. Just hopefully they'll last a little longer than uh, yeah. the other ones did. Yeah. Which the other ones never rusted. Yeah, they never rusted, but they just died because they're lead acid. Look at Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> there is Jerry. Hey, Jerry. How you doing? She was just resting on oh, my head. <laughs> All right. Uh, battery size. That's an excellent question. I do not know. I think it's like 26 by 26. We have a tape measure handy. But, yes, tape measure. Okay, it is 22 by 22. It's actually pretty small. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Now let's look at my face. Here's the spot welding. By the way, there's videos coming eventually when the vlog gets up to this part that are beautiful. Like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I finished two. Um, yeah. Two columns here, and now I'm going to connect yeah. them with the... I so, call it making the ladder. Yeah, so what she's done so far is these are now in parallel. So you have all these and all these cells in parallel. Now I'm going to make now, them into series. Yes. Okay. I've learned. <laughs> yeah. Jerry. Okay, how would, yeah, Charlie's got. Just making a sure shell. she's eating something she's supposed to be yes, eating yes, and is. not eating the boat. No, she's got a nutshell. Okay, how would we know if a cell goes bad and how would we replace it? Oh, that's a really good question. Yes, so we would know, sort of. Okay, so the way we would know is the BMS has a Bluetooth app, which isn't working yet, and I'm ordering new Bluetooth modules to make it work because it's not working. But, uh, so it tells you the status of each cell pack. So every battery that we have, I can then see on the app each cell row, but I don't know which one of the 16 is bad. So to find out which one is bad of the 16, you kind of look at it and it's gonna be the one that's a little charred looking. <laughs> that's the bad one. <laughs> but uh, that, and then you can also separate that string and then check the actual internal resistance of each cell and also the voltages. Uh, the one that's got the wonky voltage or if it's under a light load, the one that's really hot is the bad one. So if you have a bad cell, oh, 
it would suck. But you, you cut the wires, you get it out. You actually just break these little ears off because if you don't break these ears off, you have to separate the entire lid, which is too much work. So you break the ears off and then you pop out the bad cell and then you pop in a new one and then solder it back in or, or spot weld it back in. Uh, let's see. Oh, many, many comments. Thanks, oh, guys. I Gary really appreciate Pye. your questions. And also, Gary Pye made a little donation, so thank you. Oh, thanks, Gary. That's really nice. We appreciate it. Yes, we saved a lot of money on these cells, but they still cost $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Graham's here. Hi, Graham. So, Graham is in Australia. Australia. So... I don't know what time it is there, but I know that it is a very inconvenient time. So it means a lot to us that you're here. So thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Too hot. Okay, uh, someone's looking at a 32 foot 1988 Benito and asking, is there anything to look for in regard to the standing rigging? Cracks and corrosion. That is literally all standing rigging. It really comes down to just cracks and corrosion. Yeah. Would you like to add anything to that one? I would add, ask when the rigging was last oh, replaced. Yes. And if it was beyond 10 years ago, that would mean that you need all new rigging. Yeah. Yes. But if you look at it and it's all nice and shiny and looks new, you're in a much better starting point than if it looks like, uh... you know, we don't actually have anything really rusty in the boat, which is nice. <laughs> That's a first. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, the chimney. If it looks like that chimney, like with rust stains all over it, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. All right, max voltage of the motor speed control module is 40, well, it's a 48 volt motor, but it goes up to like 60 or 70 volts, something. I don't know. It does a lot. We I, have it governed down. Well, yeah, but the, what the motor can handle. Yeah. I honestly, I don't know. I, because of this trip, we've gotten like really well acquainted with the guy who makes the motor at Electric Yacht. So whenever I'm doing something weird like this, I just ask him. And then he's like, yeah, you can do that. Or no, don't, don't do that one. There's been a lot of no's, don't do that. <laughs> That's a bad idea. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, uh, I don't know what the max voltage of it is, but apparently this is okay. So yes, uh, let's see. Oh, about the affiliate account with them, with battery hookup. I'm working on it. They never answer their calls or emails or anything. <laughs> it's been actually it's, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, it was actually like I I sent them multiple emails like I want to give you five thousand dollars, <laughs> please take my money so I can have my batteries, and they eventually called me so I could pay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. We should probably buy ceramic scissors. Yeah. I've been using these to cut the nickel strips. They're old Singer scissors from my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, ceramic scissors would probably be better at that. Okay. Oh, can we stack the batteries? Yes. So these are actually being stacked. So we're mm -hmm. making, down in the battery box, down under the bird poop, is... <laughs> <laughs> That's the cardboard they poop on. That way they don't poop in the boat. Yeah, so it's three of these stacked. So right now there's two of them in here. This is going to be a third one that drops in. Okay, sorry. There are many, many questions here. That's uh, great. Yes, I'm trying to get through Loving your questions, guys. Okay. Uh, are you holding strip? it nice and steady while you're answering I'm the questions? I'm hoping. Uh, probably not. All right, strip is on positive now. No show. Ah, yes. Yep. So she's now doing the interconnects from the positive to the negative. And then will you be increasing your solar or is one kilowatt sufficient? Uh, we have two more 100 watt panels. Four more. Four more? Yeah. And so we're going to be adding those. Somewhere. Um, 
we're hoping that 1,000 watts is sufficient, or one kilowatt, but we do have extra panels just in case we find that we want more. Yeah, so the panels, we, with the panels we have right now, we are gathering on average five kilowatts a day. So we'll see. If it's not enough, we'll put more. All right, uh, your strip is touching the other somewhere. It was probably while it was happening. Yes, at least there were no sparks. <laughs> okay, uh, apparently the strings are isolated. Ah, yes, so if this one touches this one, you would then get a short circuit. Mm -hmm. But if this one touches this one, it's okay because they're gonna be in series anyway. So pretty much with this one, if it touches here, you'd have a problem. But if it touches here, nothing would really happen, I believe. I'd have to think on that one. All right. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. So a question about a couple things. Ooh, well, okay. Many, many questions. All right. Uh, will the banks be stored above the water line? No. They're, okay. All right. So in our boat. They should be, yes. They should be, yeah. If so, you have the the option to do that, yeah. yes. So in do our that. boat, yeah, all our boxes. This is the bench, yes? And down here is the floor. And then the bilge is way down below that. The water line in our boat is actually about here or so. It's like most of our boat is underwater. So <laughs> everything is below water line. And, We'd have to yeah. literally store them like at waist height. Yeah, it, <laughs> it would not be very good. So ideally, yes, but in reality, down they go and hope they last. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, here's a question. It was, uh, are you truly after just more range with these batteries or are you wanting more comfort and appliances such as AC? So we have AC because we used to live aboard. Well, but, we still live aboard. Well, we used to live aboard in a marina. Yes, yeah, so we were plugged in the shore power and had AC, and it was glorious. It was. Uh, so we've been thinking about the prospect of using AC with these batteries. And yeah. yes, it's possible, but that's not the original reason we decided yeah. to do it. It was the range. Um, but if that does work, we do need a converter. An inverter. An inverter. Yeah. Um, and they're 800 bucks. Yeah, so. so we may have to wait on that. But cool. it would be really nice because it is, I, I know I mentioned this in the beginning, but it is roughly 1 million degrees in this boat right now. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, warp drive, uh, warp 21 drive, uh, he said three welds on negative, two welds on positive. Does that matter? It is space. So I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing two welds on the positives. Uh, just or four. Well, yeah, okay, so yeah. I'm doing two sets of welds on the positives because that's all that fits. But the other thing is I'm doing three sets of welds on the negatives because welds actually don't uh, stick. stick as well on the negatives. Yeah. So I have to do three to make sure that it actually sticks. And they stick better on, like, the outside of the negatives rather than the inside. Yep. So another question, did I consider LiPo batteries? So... With lithium, uh, lipo, do you want me to pull it to the side? Yeah. Okay. So with lithium, lipo is lithium polymer. And then you have NMC, which is, mm, I can't remember. It's something cobalt, I think. Eh, anyway. Yeah. So lithium polymer cells yeah. have a, a fire issue that I don't like in the boat. So I considered them because you have a whole lot more power in them. And they're, they're a lot more efficient, <laughs> but they, uh, they have this, you know, they're a little hot headed and blow up. So, so I considered them. I did. Uh, they were also a lot cheaper, uh, but we went with lithium iron phosphate because of uh, safety. All right. Over 10 years, lithium cell prices dropped 10 times. Yep. So you can, even if they die in five years, you can get another set. For Absolutely. Less and and yeah. that did not escape our notice. Yeah. So um. that was. <laughs> That was a huge reason why we pulled the trigger. We're like, right. yeah. And the thought is if these die and we have access to mail, maybe build a box to do prismatic. <laughs> I don't know. We'd need, okay, so to do prismatic safely, we'd need a lot more of them because the C rating. So that was, 
Yeah. But if we could do this during air conditioning, that'd be nice. Well, I would yeah. not complain there. But we do plan on having lithium batteries in our Allberg. Yes. Um, helps if I turn it on. Yes. <laughs> so this is, I, it's not practice, but it is definitely good. Oh. What's that? Sorry. Someone suggested to put under this uh, captain tape. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a really good idea. Yeah. This is why we love talking to you guys. Yeah, we get so many good ideas from you guys. So <laughs> thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. So I suggest that after I finish this oh, column, question. yes, we should put this on. Do the bus bar? Yeah. Make it interesting? Mm -hmm. Will do. Change okay. the monotony. Yeah. So a uh, question of uh, how many kilowatts? It is 20... Three or four, if it is forty-eight times four hundred and eighty, that is the number of kilowatts. <laughs> well, that's Quick, get of, out your calculator. Yeah, that's the number of watts. To get kilowatts, you then divide that by a thousand. But it's it's more than twenty. It's a lot. Uh, what do you think about that emoji? <laughs> Don't know what emoji. Okay. Uh, oh, chain plates. Yes, chain plates are important. Oh, for the Benito guy. Yes, check the chain plates. If they're rusty, if they're internal. <laughs> if the chain plates are rusty, like if it's internal chain plates and they're like encapsulated and you can't get to them. If the boat's really cheap, buy it and then tear it open and then replace the chain plates because they're probably shut. If it's not a cheap boat, walk away because <laughs> it's going to be expensive uh yeah let's see Oof. oh bubba just ordered batteries from battery hookup today cool oh nice i wish we could have gotten you that um promo code yeah, yeah so apparently cause... you guys would get five percent discount with the promo code so Bubba, if you want to maybe ask them about that, maybe then they'd hurry up and get the promo code out. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. So like, give it a try. They know my name because I've emailed and texted them more than a uh, insecure stalking chick. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I ignore that one? Yeah. So the promo code that I'm applying for is all capital rigging five, like rigging number five. So see if maybe they can give you a discount because I wish I had known about promo codes and discounts when I bought the batteries. <laughs> okay, did we get shocked yet making the- yes. I was waiting for that question. How many times have you been shocked? I've been shocked once. Okay, I've been shocked many times. <laughs> Many times. Herbie was standing in the bilge the oh, other day, man. connecting the battery. And I, I was only touching the positive. And he's just standing but, there like, help, help, yeah. help, <laughs> like getting shocked over and over but, again. But I was holding the cables, so I couldn't put them down. <laughs> but the boat was slightly electrified a little bit. And I didn't, I still don't know what I was I was like, I don't know what grounded. to do. Yeah, and I just had to turn everything off on the breaker panel and then like current stopped flowing. <laughs> and stop talking me, but I don't know what, how I was connecting because I was standing on wood. I don't know. So all I've done yeah. is, um, at one point I was leaning on this while I was doing the uh, spot welding, and somehow I got this crazy burning on my elbow. Yeah. So another question, how do we move them when we're finished? And the answer is, I pick it up. It weighs <laughs> 80 pounds. It's true. It's heavy. Irvy just picks it up. It's crazy. I'm strong. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> or, or, the batteries give me power. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, do you just make a... Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, do we make a table out of them? You know, once they have the captain tape, we could make a table out of them. I mean... <laughs> yeah, and that would be above the water line. When we are... That would work. When we're eating during... Our construction. construction, we definitely use 
the battery to like hold the iPad so that we can watch movies. Okay. <laughs> Question about where do they go and how do we move them? So they go from this table to under there. And then the other batteries, these really long rectangular ones that we're going to build next, will go from this table to under that corgi that is asleep. <laughs> that's the other battery box. Oh, he's twitching. Morty. Okay. We're going to look at... Oh, yes. Rigging 5 is the promo code that will be. It is not yet. It is not yet. I'm trying to make it be a thing. And when it is, we will definitely announce it on Facebook. Yes. So if you're not following us on Facebook yet, I highly recommend that you do. Um, it's just Rigging Doctor. We're also on Instagram. Just take that moment to plug that. <laughs> oh, any sparking stories? Yeah. Uh, there's a reason we're wearing glasses. Yep. Every now and then when Herbie is spot welding, for some reason it doesn't happen when I do it. Yeah, Maddie's really good at spot <laughs> welding. So another question is dielectric grease before the weld, not sure. And the reason I'm not is because uh, if you guys are not familiar with the channel, Jehu Garcia, or Jag, uh, he doesn't do dielectric grease before doing his spot welds on 18, 18650s. And he does a lot with cylindrical batteries, and that is why I'm not putting the dielectric grease. <laughs> <laughs> not because it's the right thing to do, we're wrong. I don't know. The internet told us it was fine. YouTube said it was fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you give us some idea of the cost and time to build? Okay. Yes. One battery per day, 5,000 batteries for, so $1,000 per battery. So it takes two of us of full time working one full day. And by that, I mean from about 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah. To finish a battery. Now. The, the other huge part, like cost per battery. So these are 48 volt batteries. So if you're building, if you're buying Battleborn, which are 12 volt, 100 amp hour, one of these that is equivalent to that would cost a little less than $250. We should stop plugging Battleborn because they wouldn't give us a discount. Well, it's not plugging them. It's actually <laughs> being like, build it yourself. Well, Battleborn, <laughs> Renergy, and... Uh, uh, what's the other one? S Not that I'm... Sock. Shack. Sock. Sock. Yes. S-O-K. There is actually a really nice... Yeah. Like, I like them more than Battleborn, but also just so expensive. So... We are not doing But as you can see, like, this is not hard to do. I'm gonna lift this up. So oh, that's that a good plan. I can put the camera on it. And... Oh... So yeah. this isn't a super hard thing to do. It's just you need to like check and double check that you're doing everything right because you it could it has the potential of being really dangerous. Yeah, and we don't have a fire extinguisher handy because it wouldn't help. <laughs> We'd be dead. From so, fire, so the I mean, you just need to really be aware of what you're doing and check and double check that you're putting things on the right way but once you kind of fall into a, a rhythm it's it's not hard to do anyone can do it look at me <laughs> um but it is definitely important that you've got someone or you yourself decide to do the research and math required to get everything right yeah so a couple new questions so one keep it well above the water line if possible Yes, that is good advice, but then... Which we will not be taking. We will not be taking. Yeah, so then you get on a boat, which is just a series of giant compromises by naval architects, and then you stick it well below the waterline down in the keel and be like, this is fine, hopefully. If you have the option of doing it above the waterline, yes, definitely do that. And then another question, which kind of spot welder? It's that guy. And the so link it's is down below. So it's K-E-R-P-U. We yeah. have provided the link down below. I actually really recommend these. It's been really great. Um, yeah, it was 60 bucks. Yeah, and if and there are people who make them themselves, and honestly, like, it's a lot of work. I don't think that that's worth it. So this really works, and I recommend getting two so that, again, while one is cooling down, you can use the other. I also recommend... Um, 
that I had another recommendation. Now I can't remember it. Oh, yeah. I recommend that you have it on full strength. Yeah. Um, all five lights op yeah, uh, are on. Lift it up again. Yeah. Yeah, you can no strength, all the strength. And then you can do manual, but then you have to hit this button down here every time, which takes a third hand, <laughs> or automatic. So we do automatic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, many questions. Okay, uh, what kind of spot welder is that? Uh, oh, what kind of cells are we doing? 32650 from batteryhookup.com. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Stay tuned for promo code. Yes, eventually. Oh. Where'd, where'd my tape go? Your tape. Mm -hmm. Captain tape? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. I dropped right. it. More questions. Uh, what resources can you give us so we can learn more about how to build our own batteries? I honestly learned all of these things originally from watching Jehu Garcia's YouTube, and then Will Prowse, he does a lot with prismatic cells. And then I read a bunch of research papers from a university. I think it was Berkeley. Uh, they had a lot of research on lithium battery packs. And like the, the discharge, how they perform at different temperatures, different depth of discharges, all that. Uh, so I, ah. I read that a lot. But you don't really have to read that. I read that <laughs> because I wanted to know, is this safe? So I was reading academic papers because I figured it's a lot better than being like, you know, this battery company says, yeah, super safe. Put it in your boat. Good luck. <laughs> you know, if the boat catches on fire. They're not on board, so they don't really care. So I was reading academic papers to see what is the thing. But yeah, uh, Will Prowse and Jehu Garcia, like that's where I learned how to do the BMS and all that business because that is like the most complicated part, which isn't very complicated. Okay, uh, let's see. Also, what size banks? Each one is 96 amp hours at 48 volts. So that's a lot of kilowatts, or a lot of watts. Mm. Madge, hmm? 48 times, uh, well, it's like a smidge. It's over 4,000 watts. <clears throat> what do you need? 48 times 96. How many kilowatts is that? Or how many watts is that? 4,704. Okay. So 4.7 kilowatt batteries is what these are. I'm ready for the bus bars. Oh. Ah, okay. Dang it, I knew it was time to poop, Jerry. Yeah. Oh my God. In case you guys were worried about poop. All right. Will insurance company give you a hard time if you have insurance? So yeah, we don't have insurance. <laughs> uh, well, we have liability insurance, so we can pull in the marinas, but if we break our own boat, that's our fault. Uh, honestly, from what I've found with insurance companies, they really don't care what you do. Which is sad. As long as you're not in a hurricane. Yeah. Then they care. Yeah, if and you're they in a hurricane, cover you. Yeah. <laughs> they, I mean, you figure they're going to find some reason to not pay out to you because that's their job is to collect your premiums and not pay you. Uh, not that that's my take on insurance companies or anything. Okay. Do -do -do. Let's yes. set that back up right here. Okay. Wait, wait, can I answer these questions? All right. Yes. So, uh, you guys are going to. I will read them to you. Ah, he's doing 96 volts, so yes. And then... Okay. Wow. Oh, another question about cob cells. I was going to do them, but these were cheaper. But I was really going to... Oh, I found some cob cells on eBay, and I was so close. What is a cob cell? Chinese light aircraft battery. Oh. Yeah. It sounds legit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe one isolated battery just for emergency bilge pump above the, all that. Okay, for emergency bilge pump, we have a manual bilge pump because I do not believe in relying on electronics in emergencies. Because normally an emergency happened because of electronics failing. <laughs> but uh, considered upgrading the 24 volt instead of 12 volt for the boat. No, it's a lot of work. And I have to replace all our parts. Uh, okay. Oh, we're at the bottom. All right. Uh, uh, will we be using regen from the electric motor? Charlie's yes, climbing around the. 
Thanks. No. Charlie, come here. Yes, we use Regen for electric motor. However, and we can't use it really in the ICW because our Regen motor. only works when we are under sail and going at least five knots. Yeah. Wait, Mance, but it was, it was so good. Oh no. Mance, what are you doing? I'm switching it to right here. But, but, man. Because this is it even was better. so pretty. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh, so, this is most negative. Okay. Which one looks longer All right. To so, you? we're hooking up the bus bars right now for the most negative side. And this is a bus bar. Yes. First thing we have to do is separate... <laughs> Charlie's swinging on a food hammock. First thing we have to do is separate out the um, <laughs> the negative from the positive, and Herbie's yeah. color coded it so that we don't screw it the up. The positives are red and the negatives are black. So we need to figure out which one has the shortest no, line. No, they're they're paired for length. Yeah, like, no, I know. I'm saying the we longest need longest one. Yes. Oh, that is what I'm saying. It's on that side. Mm -hmm. My bad. Sorry. I really think this is the shortest one, Charlie. Yes. So what is the purpose of the bus bar? Oh, yes. Okay. So each one of these can flow five amps. We want to suck 60 amps out of this thing. So if we hook up this to here, just there, we now create a five amp fuse that's going to burst into flames when we try and suck 60 amps out of it. So <laughs> what we do is we have 16 of them, which lets us run 80 amps. So in case you guys are asking about the spot welds and all, in case one's not great, there's others. That's it. So the, it pretty much gives us more surface area, more contact to then power more things. So, Mids, this oh my gosh, is a huge lovely wake. wake. All right, this should reach over to that corner. Does it? Just to the corner? Uh, yes. Okay, then this is this one. All right, so we want the negative. Yes. This one goes over here. In position one. All right. So this goes here. Yeah. You want to do it right now? Okay. I thought you I were going to separate the them all out. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, I'd separate them. What is Charlie doing? I don't know. Where do you want to go, Charlie? <laughs> Does Charlie want more food? Probably. Yeah. I'm going to give her some hush food. That way she'll sit in there quietly. <laughs> Here's your favorite treat. Lots of it. Yes, good Charlie, love you. Okay, where is that roll of tape? Mm -hmm. Love you, Charlie. Roll of tape. The masking tape that fit perfectly under this? Yeah, where did it go? Where did that perfect roll go? Where has all the good tape gone? What about this piece of captain tape? It's too big. Hmm. I feel like it, it was, was so perfect. It was. It was excellent. Is, is it not over there? It's amazing how you lose the stuff most important in thing. a tiny. You can use this book. All right, it's not outside. All right, I'm just using oh. this book. Where's That's it? good. I forgot to bring in the spot welder. <laughs> the soldering. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna have Herbie hold this here. That's your cue. Yes, yes, yes. But where is that? No, you, you don't hold that. Hold oh, this. I'm sorry. And in a way that I don't completely block the view. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, I'm not ready. Can you hold it in further? Well, if we hold it here, it then folds into place better. Yeah, that's where I wanted it. Good, good. It's on manual. Yep. Oh, no. So I just do... You okay? Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> I do three welds for these. Three sets. 
One, two, three. Might want to move that finger. Thank you. People are asking about, or talking about emergency bilge pumps and stuff. Mm -hmm. May I show them our emergency bilge pump? No. Oh, no. It is. <laughs> it's covered in boxes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, are we doing all the bus bars on this side? Yeah. Okay. Hitting the GoPro. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. Let's see where this one goes. Hello. Turn that to the corner. The black to the corner. The black is in the corner. Okay. So that's the third one. Yep. <sighs> so this one goes to position three. We need to do the captain wrapping first. Right. So later, this gets folded down and covered in tape, but we put more tape here so that way, just in case the wire chafes on the casing, this is negative, so it'd be negative to negative, so you don't get a short. You'd actually get a really nice connection. But the other side is positive. And there we'd have a nice sparky boom boom. <laughs> so, not something we want to be having. Okay, ready. Could this be any more? Difficult to see. So, two done. Two done, two to go. Do the tag end strips build the strings into even volt and amp sections? Are are you on the boat? Yes, oh, Janice. Yes. We are indeed on the boat. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to re read Anthony's question? Sure. Yeah. Do the tag end strips build the strings into even volt and amp sections? I do not understand the question. I don't either. I was hoping you did. <laughs> do the even volt? Well, I mean, each one, they're all identical, if that's what you're getting at. I'm not doing like one is 48 volt and the other is 36 or something. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> you wish to ask that question again. <laughs> Uh, Oops, sorry, did the repetition of assembling battery banks end up in your dreams at night? Yes. Probably. <laughs> I have had that happen. <laughs> I rarely remember my dreams, but I'm sure there was spot welding in at least a few of them. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to turn this so that they're not just looking at my torso. Yeah. It's no bueno. No. Just bring it in. Give me a second. So. Here you go. A lot more often than actually um, shocking ourselves, we cut ourselves on these. Oh, the nickel strips. strip is so sharp. <laughs> I have so many wounds <laughs> on my fingers and hands just from slipping these nickel strips across them. It's like a... Troubled teenager. No. Gosh, that's horrible to it say. It is, but... It's like a paper cut on steroids. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. 
But the nice thing, the heat from the spot welder cauterizes every bit of pain you have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more? One more. I will say the hardest part in the entire battery build is stripping off that length of, bat of wire housing. It's such a pain. I have to just cut it with a knife and some pliers very carefully so I don't cut my fingers. This should have been done in order, I think. Why? Because these are in the way. We can pull them up and then they're not in the way. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that goes over there. Oh, sure. this one's not attached. Oh. I'll get back to that one in a moment. <laughs> we'll revisit that one. So that's why we didn't do the bare minimum of 10. Oh. Or no, actually. You said... To get 60 amps, we needed 12, I guess. We did extra. again. Oh, this popped off. I got one more. Yeah, if you can push that corner down. Yeah. Okay. And now this one popped off. <laughs> this happens a lot. <laughs> yep. And it looks like that one's also not attached. Yep. Okay. I'm going to just stick my hand under it. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. So one of you asked what happens if the welds aren't good and it pops off. We do it again. <laughs> this is what happens. Ready. Okay. Can you get the uh, corner right closest to me? That's good. Is it? Nope. Wow. Oh dear. Here, let's let's burnish it first. Come on, little dude. Stick with it. One more. Okay. All right, and with that, we've got all the negative bus bars on. Yeah, so we do the same on the other side. Now, these negative ones then hook up to the BMS as well. Yes. That's a thing. <laughs> Shall I go answer Yes, you do have to have a lot of patience. I was wondering if uh, lightning protection between the PV array and Portable ch tape. charge controller is necessary. Uh... Honestly, if you get hit by lightning, you got problems. So, and the chances are really slim that you're gonna get hit by lightning. So my thought is roll the dice and enjoy your life. Cause you might die in the lightning strike and then you don't have to worry about any damage from it. Cause you're now dead. <laughs> so, so don't stress about it. Yeah. Uh, do we have an isolation? Oh, do we have isolation, oh, iso isolation switches for each pack? lightning storm no. emergency situation no we do not i mean we have the bms but yeah for lightning i don't do anything because <laughs> it's an old boat and it's never been hit by lightning and i know people that just get hit a lot so it's more a thing of luck or bad luck so here's close up yeah. on the bus bar for warren And I realized I was drinking water with the microphone right by my throat, so apologies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this will all uh, fold down, but first we're going to put a strip of tape under. Yeah, we put under tape it. under it and then tape over it. So that way, 
-hmm. This ends up being like a, a tube through tape of wire, pretty much. Seems like those negative leads should have all been the same length. Otherwise, more current will flow in the shortest one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so they're flowing out through these, uh, through the strips, and then to the bus bars, and then they all go to the BMS. So, I mean, also, like, when I hook up all the negative leads to then feed into the BMS, I use a... The BMS and the and then the leads from the battery top and bottom of it, so that way even flow, all is nice. I don't. I'm putting the BMS attachment at the top and at the bottom, so technically one of the leads has to run the whole length up the. The other goes just a short distance, but the way I look at it, this can handle 100 amps. I'm flowing very little. I mean, at full tilt, the motor is going to be sucking 60 amps out of this thing. We don't motor that hard. So, and the other huge, like my big thought with bridges is we won't be so pitifully slow that the bridge tender tells us to speed up because we'll actually get to the bridge faster than at two knots. <laughs> like knot and a half to two knots. It's been our speed. So, yeah. May I answer more comments? Please do. Okay. Or questions. The iPad. Apologies for all you guys watching this and now motion sick. Okay. We are filming right now. Right now we're filming with an iPad. So those people you see with iPads taking pictures of places that are annoying, that's us. <laughs> but for normal filming, we, we use, use many cameras. For all of our action shots, we yeah, use a GoPro shot. Hero 8. Yeah, and then we have uh, Sony A6600. Uh, and this is like our improved GoPro for stuff. For things where we're, you know, trying to make it look nice, but proof. And then for beautiful shots where someone's behind the camera, we have a uh, Nikon D7500. And that's... These are the, all those gorgeous wave shots from the ocean crossing, they were with this guy. They were beautiful. So then we have a bunch of different lenses. Uh, I was really into photography ever since I was a small child. So this lens, 60, it's from 64. So it's, how did that put it? 60 years old? Not yet. Almost, yeah, 50 some year old lens, but it does gorgeous. So, yeah, it works on new digital cameras, too. Uh, okay. Answering more questions. Let's see. All right. Uh, Okay, Warren asked for the uh, bus bar close-up. And got I gave that. it? Yep. And then... See how Jerry's just holding on to my glasses? Yeah, this is Jerry <laughs> holding on to Maddie's glasses. <laughs> she does this all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as someone, uh, Anthony Strawbridge was saying, the uh, little spot welder would be useful for making all sorts of things. It actually can only... Spot weld nickel. We crossed over to this side. Yep. Oh! Don't touch it. Shit, that's hot. Ooh, 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 wait. Yep, I got it. No, no, it started. It's. Okay. Yeah. No, we'll let that cool down. Good thing this is the negative <laughs> side. Yeah. Okay, just had a little snafu there. I'm just gonna do that. Yep. Wow. All right, so that got really hot. Look at hot. that. All right, so. Just burn myself. Yep, and then here you can see where the. It melted the plastic. So the way these cells work is uh, this is the positive part. Everything else is negative. And Charlie got a hold of this one. So we have 
I bought 20 extra cells in case stuff happened to them, like if Charlie got a hold of a battery cell before we stopped her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some very fun destructive testing on those 20 cells. Like seeing how easily can you make them blow up when you burst into fire. Well, I just had a pretty fun. easy time of it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do that. But like nothing exploded. No. So it's because the nickel can only conduct so much electricity, I think. Yeah, but we'll find out. So, I definitely yeah. got like a third degree burn that's absolutely minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what happens? This is positive. Absolutely everything else is negative. So if you strip off this housing, uh, this plastic wrap, it's negative all the way up to this top. So if you have a little bit of a heat issue and it melts this part off, uh, it's you're good to go because it's just negative showing. If you have a heat issue and it melts this part, you have negative next to positive. It's not so good. And yes, these are lithium iron phosphate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, the isolation switches for each pack for emergency situations as well. We don't. <laughs> and we turn off. So the motor bank has one huge, or the motor has a big switch to it. So you turn that off and the motor is offline. And then everything else on the boat wow, goes through a charge converter. Wow, that melted yeah, this know. whole it's hot. plastic piece right here. Yeah. Uh, then the boat's entire 12 volt system is on a DC to DC step down converter, which has a switch. So, so I guess we kind of do, but we didn't intend to. So I guess we kind of do, but we didn't intend to. Yeah, so Anthony Strawbridge, he's saying, I'm thinking the time is worthwhile. For 14,000 bucks, we'll take a week to build some batteries. Yeah. <laughs> and if someone wants to pay us 14,000 bucks to build them a set of batteries in a week, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so are we going to wrap the bus bars to prevent disconnection? Yes, we are. Yes. Lots and lots of captain tape. Uh, let's see. Yeah, as far as the length and current flow issue, uh, let me... Oh, my phone's over there. Can I have your phone for the calculator? Mm -hmm. Phone. Yes, thank you. Okay. So, let's see. 60 amps divided by 16. So, each one of these little strips is flowing 3.75 amps of its 5 amps. So, divide by 5, it's at 75% capacity. And there's a little battery. So, pretty much not really much draw happening there so yeah we're we're kind of overbuilding it so that way any giant horrible inefficiencies that we've built in aren't a huge issue okay someone asked if darpa has any idea uh we're creating i don't what is darpa do you know what that is? I have no it's idea. It's all capital. D-A-R-P-A. -A. I hope it's not like Bomb Squad, because we always Ouch. joke that this looks like we're making a bomb in the boat, because it looks Careful, weird. we'll get on... Oh, yeah, yeah, don't want to... Yep, sorry. Do-do-do. <laughs> all right, yes. Uh, another question of if these are 18650s. 32650s, so they're just fat... 18650s and the total amp hour of this pack will be 96 amps all right current follows the path the most conduction not the least okay each cell ah, charlie i'm here Come what on. was she eating that screw that she's pulled out of the galley. Yeah. She's chewing on again. Okay. So, uh, let's see. There's a really good question in here. 
It's gone. Okay, price of each cell was $3, and price of the BMS was... You said 100 A little each. under 100 Yeah, it was like 100 I think. I really, really, really want to say that the five BMSs cost $700, which would be a little over 100 mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, it was kind of... I wanted to buy the 100 amp BMS, but they only had... 60 amp availables and with the whole microchip shortage business of the world they had no idea when they would be getting any more bms's so i was like i'll take 60s and i'll do five instead of four so that's that's how that came to be all right and yes we are anchored now oh where are we anchored we are anchored at the very tippy top of lake worth i thought we were at west palm or we're we're Palm in West Palm, yeah we're in Palm Beach Gardens technically. All right, we are not on Wi-Fi. We are on cell phone. Data. Data. Yes. Oh, uh, Anthony Strawbridge said it would take at least six inches of difference in conductor length at the voltages we're working in. Mm. So cool. Uh, technically, it's a 22-inch difference, so it would make a difference, but yeah. Guys, take a second to hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Wait, 1964 can't be 74. And thank you again for all of your questions, because if we were just sitting here spot welding a battery, it'd be a little boring. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Question about the lenses. I have many very old prime lenses from my manual camera days. Still work on this Nikon. And then we have a modern, really nice zoom lens that we use a lot. But prime lenses, that's how, so all the star videos at night that are just beautiful and amazing. They haven't come out yet. Haven't come out yet? Mm -mm. Oh. They're coming. They're coming. Okay, so. You have a lot to look forward to. Yes, those beautiful, if you've ever wondered how gorgeous are the stars at night out in the ocean, you will find out in our videos. And it was with those really old lenses because they're amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah, they want to see this. I'm sorry, guys. I was hogging everything up. All right. How hard would it be? It could be done, but pretty hard. Uh, Perhaps carry a spare BMS. Are they expensive? They're like a hundred bucks, but yeah. So the other thing, you actually don't need a BMS to run a battery. Like it'll run on its own. It just, you have to make sure you don't overcharge or over discharge because then you'll have a lot of problems. But yeah, if honestly, if a BMS went, I'd be super careful why I keep running because we actually met a guy who uses a pretty small lithium battery pack to run his air compressor for a scuba tank and it's two kilowatts of power being sucked out of a very small battery bank so and he once every five years does a top balance and he's been doing this for well he's balanced at least twice so over 10 years so yeah like people get really stressed out about stuff I think people need to calm down. <laughs> okay. Ah, Dwayne is saying we could do a whole series on this battery build. We could, but we're probably doing one episode. Because <laughs> the truth is, people want to see the sailing. <laughs> so I am going to make a time-lapse video of one of these battery builds. Because, yes. All right. Oh. Uh, yes, he was saying a wonderfully detailed series. That way they can save 14000 as well. Yes. <laughs> so there will be blog posts about this that go into a lot of detail. So we do have a written blog as well as our YouTube channel. It's riggingdoctor.com. And it's for the incredibly in-depth uh, stuff. <laughs> it's oh. it's less adventure more explaining things like this so if yeah. you're very interested in our rigging or our motor or our battery setup then that would be the place to go for more detailed stuff 
And DARPA is apparently a government research agency. Oh. Defense agents, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Okay. Cool. Learn something new. And ATX, we are still live. <laughs> Let's see. But we'll probably end this live video pretty soon because oh. there isn't a whole lot left so, to do. Uh, another question. Data must be expensive to do these long live streams like this. Uh, we have Verizon. And it, when we run out of data, it still keeps going. So <laughs> I don't really ask questions, but I'm thankful. <laughs> uh, let's see. We need to see faces and birds. Ah, uh, yes. We can supply you with that. Here's my face. And here's my bird. Yes. And, <laughs> and over here, my face. <laughs> this is Charity. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And we did, we have not forgotten that we promised a uh, live video all about Charlie and Jerry and having birds on the boat and yes. everything like that. Um, but we have been preoccupied with this. Yeah. So. Uh, we are bringing you this first. <laughs> a question of, ideally, how many amp hours would we like to have? Millions. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited. So I would love to motor at full speed for like What is it eight looking hours. at? Me and Charity. Okay. But that's just not practical. So, all right. How waterproof is this going? Uh, how is it going to be waterproof for a boat? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Uh, we, uh, really, it's just that we have it in a space that does not have get wet. Yeah, it's thankfully stayed dry over many, many years. So we're kind of just crossing our fingers that it stays dry for more time. Yep. Uh, we're putting rubber in between, yeah. sheets of rubber in between each battery. It's now looking down. At this? Yes. Okay. Hi. Is my face in it? No, nope, just the... Excellent. Yeah. No All one right. needs to see this face. What's next? What's next you guys are working on after the batteries? We have the hard dodger and hard top bimini thing for the solar panels is next, as well as a bow spray. Um, making our way up the ICW. And, well, I didn't know if they meant projects. Yeah, but yeah, as far as projects, uh, the bow sprit will probably come first. Maybe. I, I hope. Yeah, bow sprit probably first because um, the Dodgers. But right now yeah. with COVID bringing up all of the yeah, wood was wood so expensive. expenses, we couldn't afford the, well, we didn't want to afford the wood for the bow sprit. Yeah, it was too much. This kind of thing, this kind of like repetitious work can be very cathartic, but it can also get very old. You wouldn't know because you're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Rubber is an isolator. That's why when we stack these, we put a sheet of rubber between them. That way they can't short out between each other. And uh, about putting in a thermostat to watch for temperature. Yes, the BMS has a temperature probe. So uh, Anthony Strawbridge was asking, does the BMS limit the current draw to 50 amps? It limits it to 60 amps. Uh, different BMSs do different currents. The one that they had available was 60 amps, so that's the one that I bought. But yeah. Welcome to the ICW. Yeah, so for waterproofing, we're doing the captain tape and we're wrapping it a lot and then it's inside a fiberglass box in our bilge that's bolted shut. Can I have so a negative, please? Hopefully. It stays dry. Thank you. But it's a hopeful situation. Let's not let it cross. Yeah. Again. Do, 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 do. I'll hold here. Okay, thank you. Yes, Jerry. Oh my gosh, Morty farted. <laughs> That's... Sorry. Oh my At least Morty, it was Morty is the dog. Not me. That'd be bad. Like having a giant fuzzy dog on your feet while you're baking. <laughs> <laughs> and then he farts. <laughs> Jerry, I know you're oh. at, you need to go poopy. Go on. 
we're gonna get the birds pooping right now. Jerry, go poopy. Wait, oh, wait, wait, here we go. Poopy. Wait, wait. Good, Jerry. Jerry, good job. Now good it's Charlie's Jerry. turn. Okay, come on back. Charlie, go up there. Go poopy, Charlie. <laughs> poopy, not in that direction. Turn around. Turn around, Charlie. Charlie's poops are huge. <laughs> you don't need to see. Go poopy. Nobody needs to see. Oh, poor Charlie. Charlie, don't, go poopy. Don't show her. <sighs> okay, so guys, this is my face reacting to Charlie pooping. No. <laughs> Charlie's not going to go. Hey, know. B, I yeah. feel like we can wrap this up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let me um, put this here real fast. Wait, I'm going to poop her real fast. Okay. All right. It's looking that way. I'm going to put it back go to poopy. where it was in the beginning. Poopy. Go poopy, Charlie. And poopy. we will have some words of... Closure? Closure. Words of wisdom? <laughs> The boat shows My flush, goodness. flush. Because I feel like this has gone downhill really fast with the birds pooping. <laughs> Jay, go I poopy. apologize. Okay. Also, I can't get this thing to stay. And good she went. Poopy. <laughs> good Charlie. Yes, good girl. So come on back and take your place. Charlie went to the bathroom. <clears throat> Sorry, Jerry. Yes. Come here. Can I come in? Yeah. I'm coming through. So guys, if uh, we didn't get to your questions or if you have further questions, I really recommend that you write them in the comments below the video and we will write back to you and answer your questions that way. Oh, where's Morty? Where's Morty? He just went over there. Uh, he's around. And um, I want to thank you for your questions in advance and for the questions that you asked during this video. They were really, really good questions and fun for Herbie to answer. And I could answer like three of them. <laughs> uh, this is building a lithium. This is it. We will be hooking up the BMS after this. If you want to see video of that, we'll be putting out a time lapse video of this whole process soonish. <laughs> uh, so do stay tuned for that. And otherwise, we will be seeing you on our regular Sunday episode tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, <laughs> my brain went away. So, <laughs> oh, Welcome wait, to wait. live videos, everyone. <laughs> the uh, soldering on the BMSs. Yeah, I just said we'd be oh. doing that. And this is really short. Yes, it is. We'll solder. We'll just attach yeah. another yeah, yeah. piece to it. Yeah, it's all good. All right. So uh, thank you all for being here. Hit that like button if you haven't liked it yet. And uh, thanks so much. Charlie, stop eating the boat. We'll you, see you guys next time. Wait, wait. A thing. What if we just spot weld on the BMS? You want to spot weld on the BMS yeah, with them here? If we just tack on these and not do the interconnects. If we just bang them on together and then we can spot weld on the BMS. Everyone's leaving. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So well, with the BMS, it's literally mm -hmm. negative and then every positive after that all the way in order. That's it. It's easy. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry.